Hey guys, I found another uh, update to Brenda, Ham Brenda Hamilton case. Uh, as hard as they have tried to close this case, the people just aren't going to let it rest. Uh, we're going to look at it and uh, go over a few things, some of the new releases that they've done. Uh, this time, at least they actually say werewolf. They say, story of potential werewolf attack in North Carolina resurfaces Brenda Hamilton. Uh, the headline says that's a lot of DNA to be inconclusive. An animal attack from 2019 is gaining renewed scrutiny due to the DNA evidence that was collected at the scene when an elderly woman was viciously attacked and then partially eaten by unidentified animals. Some believe this could be a clue proving the existence of werewolves. They're actually uh, calling out werewolves in this now. You remember I dove deep into this and I found where a uh, 911 operator approximately three days before Brenda Hamilton was attacked had got a call that somebody had seen a large black bipedal creature. The 911 operator took it among or on herself to say, you know, well, it's probably a misidentified creature and called it a panther. Why she done that? I don't know. Could have been done after the fact. Probably was. But anyways, moving on. Uh, authorities still don't know uh, what type of animal was responsible for Brenda Hamilton's death, despite plenty of evidence. The county voted unanimously to consult a third-party DNA expert as well as collaborate with Fish and Wildlife Services to analyze hairs and fibers collected from the attack. And a medical examiner from a veterinary and forensic laboratory did the post-mortem examination. Despite all those measures, they still are unable to determine what kind of animal attacked Ms. Hamilton. Even though they're able to do blood work to tell you if an animal is full blood, German Shepherd, Doberman, etc., they still don't know what kind of animal this is. The evidence was concluded to be canine in nature, however, that didn't clear up the mystery as much as one would expect. First, the victim was discovered by two pet dogs who contaminated the scene. However, the pets underwent seizure and through observation that found them to be non-aggressive, and they were essentially cleared of all charges declared good doggies. Over the course of the next few weeks, 85 samples from local dogs were collected to be compared to the evidence from the scene, but none were determined to be a match. In fact, they can't even narrow down what kind of canine it might be, so wolves or coyotes couldn't be ruled out despite the heavy focus on domestic dogs in the area that authorities so heavily wanted to blame. After several years and no answers, some were speculating the reason the DNA could not be definitively determined is because the attack was committed by a werewolf. They're actually saying this. Or possibly more than one werewolf. This seems largely based on the lack of any subsequent animal sightings to explain the brutal and deadly attack, other than alleged large black creature that was thought to be a panther. Or alleged black panther now. If you remember, we had the 911 call of the lady that saw the black bipedal creature by the field Miss Hamilton was attacked at. Also, you had the man that had called in saying he was hearing weird things in the, uh, uh oh, the, the den, not the Dennis Martin case, but the case also that had happened with the young kid, I can't remember his name right off the uh, top of my head, but a lot of things have happened, and it seems a lot of things get changed in these, So whenever they start changing things like that, you just know that things, Corey Godsey was the kid's name, you just know that things are not matching up. I mean, they're sitting there saying a ledge or the black creature. We know 911 had that. I called. We had found that out. So there was a bipedal creature in the area. Miss Hamilton was attacked by something that none of the DNA in their database matches up to. So pretty much what they're saying is whatever attacker, they have no idea what it is because everything they've checked does not match up to the DNA that they have. It wasn't a dog. It wasn't a wolf. It wasn't a coyote. But it was canine in nature I'd have to agree with the headlines kind of sounds like a werewolf to me also I appreciate y'all watching guys until next time keep your head on a swivel we got a lot more podcasts coming we got some outdoor stuff coming as soon as I get my procedure done and get back on my feet we got a lot of other things coming but we do have some good podcasts coming one's going to be re released the 24th which you probably already seen it this will release after but 
hope you enjoy them guys and until next time keep your head on a swivel and don't be something's dinner